The flexibility and power of our integrated ASP.NET product line is unrivaled. And with the DevExpress ASP.NET Theme Builder, you can quickly modify built-in DevExpress themes, create original themes, and generate custom assemblies in the blink of an eye. In this video, we'll create a new theme based on the built-in DevX theme, generate a custom assembly for theme resources, and apply our theme to an existing ASP.NET project populated with DevExpress controls. So let's get started. We begin with a web form populated with the calendar and nav bar controls. Select the nav bar smart tag and invoke the theme builder tool by selecting run ASPX theme builder tool from the context menu. We'll be building a new theme based on the existing DevX theme. Select the new theme button to continue with a new theme. We'll specify a base theme from one of the shipped DevExpress themes. Here we'll choose the DevX theme and assign a name for our theme. Here we'll assign my DevX as the theme name. Specify products here whose theme files you want to modify. Here we'll choose the ASP Experience and ASPX editors for our navbar and calendar controls. Click OK. A new theme is created. In the leftmost navigation panel, choose the ASPX navbar control. From its customizable elements, select Group Header. In the Control Preview panel, select the Header Text Element. Pay attention to its corresponding CSS class name. Here selected within the rightmost panel CSS pane and default CSS rule implementation highlighted below in the CSS rules pane. Switch the header text decoration to bold by clicking the B button within the visual customization. Note that a new CSS rule has been added. Now let's select the item element and change its hover color. Click item in the control preview. There are several CSS classes corresponding to item states. Select the class for the hover state. In the visual customization panel, we'll select and clear the background image, changing the background color to a custom value. To see the results, switch to the browse mode by clicking the selection mode button and hover the mouse cursor over the item. The new hover color is displayed. Switch back to selection mode. Now select the Skin tab in the rightmost panel to customize settings which can't be modified via CSS. Set the Group Spacing property to 10 pixels. Notice the changed group spacing in the Control Preview. Finally, we'll select the Collapsed Image element in the Group header and change its arrow color. For this purpose, we'll edit the theme's Sprite Ping image. Select the Edit button and define an external graphic editor for editing theme images we'll choose the paint.net editor. In the graphic editor, select the paint bucket tool and fill the up and down arrows with the red color. Close the editor, saving the changes made. To take a look at our changes, select the refresh button. Notice all expand and collapse images have red arrows. Now let's modify the calendar control's visual settings. Within the left navigation panel, expand the ASPX Editors group and select ASPX Calendar. Within the control preview, select its header element and change the text style to bold. Select the today date within the calendar and set the text style to bold and background color to light yellow. Finally, select the Next Month button element and modify its color by opening the corresponding sprite image for editing. In the Invoked Image Editor, fill the arrow images with the red color. Save the changes and close the editor. and select the Refresh button to see our changes. Now save the modified My DevX theme to a specific location. Open the File menu and select Save Item. Navigate your file system and create a parent directory for the theme folder. Here we'll create a folder, My Themes, on Disk M.
Click OK to save the theme files in My DevX directory under the My Themes folder. Now let's create a custom assembly to handle theme files as resources. Open the file menu and select the Create Assembly item. Define the location of the created theme. We'll leave it at M My Themes. Check the theme to be included into the new assembly. Here, it's My DevX. We'll name the custom assembly My Theme Assembly. Select OK to generate a new assembly and notice it's been successfully generated. Close the ASPX Theme Builder tool. Now we'll make the newly created theme available within our project. Use the ASPX Theme Deployer tool to deploy theme files to a web project. Open a Control Smart tag and select Run ASPX Theme Deployer tool from the context menu. Check if the site path fields value corresponds to your project's path. Select the file and import custom themes menu item to import your custom theme. In the open dialog, select the previously generated and saved custom assembly. In the ASPX Theme Deployer's theme list, deselect all themes with the exception of the imported custom theme, My DevX. In the products list, select the required products, ASP Experience, and ASPX editors. Select the Copy Files button to copy the theme's skin files to the specified web project. Now close the ASPX Theme Deployer tool. Select the Refresh button in the Project Solution Explorer and notice the App Themes folder has been added to the project. This folder contains a folder for our custom theme, My DevX. The theme folder contains required skin files, in particular, the ASPXCalendar.skin and ASPXNavbar.skin files. Add a reference to the custom theme assembly to make the resource files available to the project. We'll use the Visual Studio's Add Reference dialog. Select the custom theme assembly from its previously saved location. Notice My Theme Assembly has been added to the project's bin folder. Lastly, we'll define the custom theme as the theme of the web project. Open the web.config file. In the system.web section, add the pages tag and set the theme attribute to our custom theme, My DevX. Close the web.config file, saving the changes made. And that's it. Let's run the project to view the results. Notice the custom My DevX theme is now applied across the navbar and calendar controls. Thanks for watching. Let's see what develops.